Hi guys, Elise Galloway here. I am going to start talking you through my background process um, with Lily's portrait. Um, as you can see right now, I'm blocking in um, just a bouquet background, which is going to look like a bunch of blurry circles and, and odd shapes in the background. I'm going for a natural scene. Um, originally, she was sitting in the car as they're bringing their little puppy home, um, and they wanted a little bit different background so um, this is just the first layer and um, right now I'm going in and smudging in some of that pastel I just used soft uh, soft pastel sticks for the first layer um, the block in stage there'll be many more <laughs> layers to come so I'm just trying to fill some of the tooth of the canvas um, so we don't have a grainy effect so again, this is just the first layer. I'm not paying too close attention with the first layer on the shapes, just very light um, color block. So um, as I hone in the different colors, I will be paying closer and closer attention to my shapes, the, the circle effects and the cleaner edges and lines and so forth. Um, but for now, we're just trying to get pigment on the canvas. Um, that's our main priority at this point. So for this, um, I did try to do a little bit of a, um, what is it called? We have the dark edges. I don't remember what it's called, but just the, a little bit in the, the corners and the bottom. I tried to do a little bit darker, um, just to kind of help to bring the composition or focus into the main subject. Um, that's where all that dark green is up at the top. You can see there's varying um, levels of saturation in some of these pigments. I'm using a lot of different blues and a bunch of different greens, different saturations of, of those colors. Um, and I'm generally just working my way down the canvas. I did do this digitally first, so I am working off of um, a template on my computer screen to the left. Um, I'm not trying to copy it verbatim by any means, but I am using it as a general guide. Um, and that's that was the image that my client approved. So I'm just trying to generally stick to that. Here's a segment of real time. You can kind of get an idea of how long this actually takes. I'm not really rushing it, but it doesn't generally take too long for this effect. Just generally, I'm, I'm starting to pay attention to the shape of the circles now, I'm trying to keep the edges a little bit more clean. All right, I'm back to full, or to, um, I think it's like a thousand percent sped up at this point. Um, full steam ahead. All right, so we went from, I think this took about 30 minutes, and I got it down to about six minutes. Now I'm starting down in the lower section. Um, the lower section is generally just a shadow effect more than a natural um, bokeh or anything like that. Um, I do have to be careful because this dark blue color is right up against her skin tone. Um, and if I have, if I have too much overlap onto her, like her arms, um, it'll be a little bit difficult to cover that up later. Um, so I, I am trying to mind the edges down here a little bit more than say up in the hairline and, and fur line um, where you actually do want a little bit more uh, overlap in those sections. All right, here's where I'm actually starting to really carve in some of those circle shapes. I, I find that the cleaner that circle edges and I, I'm not using like a template or anything for the circles you know I'm not going to get out a 
a cutout or anything to make these perfect, but the closer you can get to perfect circles, the more realistic I think it tends to look. Just going and cleaning up some of those edges and, and softening some of the edges. I think for these circles here, I'm actually applying pigment direct to my sponge applicator and then applying it to the canvas. Using my hands to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Sometimes the hand, the gloves do a little bit better job of making um, a smoother transition. All right, and we're just about done. I'm going in and cleaning up some of my edges and just kind of defining the hairline with just a dark brown. Her hair was like a, a dark brown and um, black color. Um, and that, that's about it. Um, you're gonna see me block in a little bit of color, but that's getting into the next video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching.